Coach 9580 coming at you uh, from a Walmart parking lot. It's Sunday, um, the 20th of November 2016, 7.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And uh, you see what we're doing here. I went to play my radio today. Nothing. Nothing. It wouldn't even turn on. Played beautiful all the way down here to Florida where I am. Went to play it. Nothing. Check the fuse box down there, under there, check the radio fuse. The radio fuse was fine. Nothing wrong with the fuse. Uh, I don't know, the radio just died. This is what I, this is what was in it. Uh, it was a uh, it was a JVC. Um, not this one. This is the new one. This is the new face piece for the new radio. So this goes with that one. Uh, that goes with that one. This is the old one here. Right here. I have to press this button right here. Nothing. Nothing. It was dead as hell. That's the old face piece, the old radio. Um, there's the old radio there. It's JVC. I bought another one identical to it. Um, but the face piece wouldn't fit. What I was going to do is buy the radio, put the face piece on. Oh, no. Oh, no. The face piece wouldn't fit, even though it was JVC. So I went and bought a new JVC right here. I went into Walmart, bought a brand new one. Um, so I'm installing that now, and I know it powers up because I've already tried to power it, and it powered right up. And it's got a little remote with it. Um, these extra wires, I didn't, I didn't need them, and uh, and uh, that's one problem. Next problem is the lighting. See how dim these lights are? These lights here are really dim. And when I start the rig up, when I always started the rig up. Those lights would brighten right up because the alternator would be charging the battery. Well, when I start to rig up now, they don't they stay dim. Uh, so I don't know if my battery, my house battery in the back is gone, burned out. That'll be the next project. So I might have to go back into Walmart, I have to get the radio put in and do buy another battery. I'll have that one tested anyway. So I'll do this project first. Um, I've already tried it myself, so I'm gonna do a part two on this, but that's about all I got to say. So Looks like a good radio. I mean, I don't know much about JVC or Sony or Kenworth, but it's been a good radio. I mean, this is the one I bought, but this was installed before I got it, like this old one. And and it wasn't the fuse in the back. Everybody goes, oh, there's a fuse in the back. No, no, no. See that fuse right there? It says 10 on it. I look, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. I checked it. And I checked the one under the dash. I installed, luckily... Luckily, this was a, I bought a JVC, so this plug right here was exactly the same, so I didn't have to cut no wires and retape wires. So I plugged this plug in, it came right on. Perfect, the new one did. So, I don't know what happened. It burned out or what? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, guys. Talk to you later, get this thing in.